could come down to one or two plays, and he wants to be the guy to make those plays. Here's Parker. Outside Aldridge. Spurs passing it around. And up the floor again for New Orleans, running the court. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle sticks for the Pelicans? Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Yeah, I think you also have to give them a lot of credit for how well they've risen up to meet shooters to challenge shots in this game. Uh, a lot of blocked shots tonight. Here's Parker. To the left side wing. It's stolen by Davis. And pushing it up. Here's New Orleans. Williams leading the charge. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And that's how the coach would draw it up on the fast break from start to finish. Yeah, and what a finish it was, guys. Really nicely done. It's been a great game for Evans tonight. He's got eight points and two steals. He's showing us those quick hands today, both when he has the ball and when he doesn't. Clark, you, you love the fact that he's a terrific distributor, but also, how about those defensive instincts? That's also been excellent today. And it's good. Off through contact, it's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. And that one falls for Davis. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. It's Parker with the drop. Williams with the block. And it's out of bounds. They Was last touch by Williams. Fifty nine seconds left in the game. Parker kicks to Aldridge. Puts up the baby hook. The shot is off. Now New Orleans will take it the other way. Outside Williams. Babbitt dishes to Ajinsa. Williams double team. Evans kicks to Davis, and he jams it with authority. And if you thought this game was over already, you're probably right. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. I mean, it's staring us right in the face, and we've been around long enough to know when a game is over, and this one is in that category. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. That drops. Boy, I tell you what, he's having one of those days where if he takes it, he makes it. And they go to the intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Yeah, but Greg, they didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Okay, guys, the clock is our enemy now. Time to focus up and know your roles. Trust each other to make the play. Freak, if you got the look, take us home.
23 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Diaw. Offensive rebound, Spurs. Kicks it to Mills. Puts up a three. The rebound by Anderson. Here's Cole. So we see the Pelicans get the win here. And now they're sitting on a commanding three games to one lead. They've grabbed this series by the throat, Greg. And, and, and Kevin, I don't think they're going to let it go. You can see the determination they had tonight. They don't want to drag this series out. They want to get this thing over with. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, once again, your ability to make plays with your passing was a major factor in this one. How did you get the offense clicking? Uh, it's like this. You set a tone at the top, everyone in me follows. Right? Made sure we were all on the same page tonight. Everyone in me, me, and the rest of the team just follow suit. Wow, Kevin, not sure what to do with that one. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. Well, that'll do it, folks. Glad you could join us for the Western Conference semifinals. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. But first, the post-game show with Ernie Johnson just a few aisles above us. The 2K Sports post-game show. Hey y'all, Ernie Johnson here along with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome back for the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Freak. Talk about lighting it up in the second quarter. My word, that was just huge. And the impact carried them through the entire game. When Freak puts it all together, it's no contest to who the best player on the court is. He was outstanding tonight. His feel and understanding of the game were on display. Just an unreal performance for him in so many ways. That was a player at the absolute, I mean, absolute top of his game. It's hard to imagine someone being any more dominant than he was tonight. And that is it for this broadcast of round two of the NBA playoffs. For myself, Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a great evening, everybody.